So welcome everybody, welcome to, um, we are still actually doing endocrine, but we are more doing the digestion, our digestive system in relationship to endocrine system. So this is balancing our digestion. Um, today is December the 14th, 2023. We, we did the protein digestion last week. And so this week we will either do um, fat digestion, which is more liver and gallbladder area, or we'll do carbohydrates, which is more uh, pancreas and small intestine. So it really depends on, you know, once we start, I'll, I'll see which, like within the group, which one, which is more appropriate. To, to do so either one of those we'll, we'll be focusing on but we are really doing so on the digestive system so welcome and before we go any further I just want to take everybody into a brief meditation just so that we can all um, kind of just arrive and let go of whatever it is that's been occupying us earlier in the day. So let's just start with this short meditation by simply taking in a deep breath. So breathe in through your nose, breathe in deeply, as deeply as you can. Allow your whole body to expand as you breathe in. And breathe out through your nose as well, as much as you can let go. And then breathe in again. And let go. One more time, breathe in as deeply as you can. And let go. Continue to follow the rhythm of your own breathing with the intention of elongating your breath as much as it is still comfortable for you. And just allow yourself to breathe a few more times just to allow your body to decompress. So as you breathe in, just bring in all the new refreshing pure love energy into yourself. And as you breathe out, let go of anything that does not support you in this moment. Just allow your body to relax and use that elongated breath that you are practicing now to send a signal to communicate with your body. As you elongate your breath, you're also signaling to your body that you're in a safe space. That's why you don't have to breathe in quickly. So your body would be able to easily get out of the fight or flight mode as you elongate your breath. And you also intentionally seek out wherever it is in your body that you're still holding tension and just consciously let that part of your body know that it is okay to relax and let go.
And when you feel your body more relaxed, then the next focus is to call back all of your energy and attention and intention. Call them all back to you. Right now is the time to focus on yourself. During the daytime, you focus on work, you focus on a lot of other things. In this moment, though, get back all of your attention, your intention, your energy. Bring it back to yourself. Prioritize yourself. Prioritize your body. Let your body know that this time is for your body, for taking care of your body, for tuning into what your body actually need to bring back all of your own energy so that your body can start to heal itself. Let go of all the conversations in your head. Not interested right now. Right now, it's for my body. No thinking, just feeling, just communicating with your body. You only have one body. So in this moment, just connect with your body, check in, give your undivided attention to your body. And when you feel really connected with your body, and you can take a deep breath in, and come all the way back into your body and open your eyes. Welcome back, everybody. Thank you, Vinnie. You are welcome. Um, so I want to actually get some feedback. Uh, last time, last time I went through the opening the four diaphragms with all of you. Um, so I just want to check in. So any questions about that? Because um, that would be a good, something good to know, to remember. I don't I feel it much, but that's just me. What was the other one, sorry? I said I missed the class, so I... Okay, no problem. Um, we can we can quickly do that again, again. Yes, um... Okay. When I was trying to do it myself to look you know, right up, right down, and um, that figure eight. Mm -hmm. I don't feel that much like I felt with you. <laughs> it's always the case with her. So <laughs> with it, you, I felt a lot of releasing. Um, because when we are, I, and it's. 
it takes practice. It takes practice. But in, if you, when you do this um, with more intention, then you you will get there. So at first, and especially when we are in a group, yeah, you, the energy will be stronger because our the the group as a whole has a, a stronger we. Like even though there's not a lot of us here, but there's enough of us here that, you know, when there are this amount of people coming together, then yes, we create that kind of vortex of energy. So that's why you do feel um, more. Because it's not just me releasing or just you releasing. We're all releasing here. So that um, increase the energy. But when you do that yourself um, consistently, your body will, will get the hang of it that, oh, this is release time. So it will be more cooperative the more you do it. So if, if at first you don't feel it as much, that's okay. You are just starting out. So just um, stay with it. It's more a matter of communicating with your body. Okay, thank you. And and um, you may not feel energy just yet, but um, the the thing with energy is the we are not used to feeling energy. Because um, most most people are more, you know, if you cannot touch it, if you cannot see it, then you know it takes some convincing to to really believe that it's actually there. So that's that's the nature of energy is more subtle. But when you really set the intention that you want to feel it, just just hold that intention. That intention alone will start to, your body will start to get it at some point and, and you will become more sensitive to the energy if that is what you want. So, yes, thank you. I uh, had, I, I was uh, having uh, sporadic stomach pain. But not recently. I think the meditation, the healing, did help. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah. It's great. Um, meditation is so healing. Just, just by um, connecting with the body. Because the intention is really to connect with the body. So when you connect with your body, your body will um, start to respond. And the more you connect with your body, the healthier you will be um, to when you are more responsive to your body. So that's that's why when we connect with our body, it um, especially like when you when we're young and we have so many things to do, yeah, we we do do do. We don't connect. We just think and do. But actually, um, you can do that, and your body would still be okay uh, up to a certain age. But after that, it's like your body really needs your attention. So that's 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 why connecting with the body is um it's really half the battle. <laughs> if you're connected with your body, it's already half the battle. It's it's done. You 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 won half the battle already. Then the other part is just to um know how to work with your body. So um so. The, the four diaphragms, which I'm going to go over again with all of you, because I like to start with that, because when the 
the four diaphragms. So what do I mean by the four diaphragms? Um, we have a physical diaphragm, which is between the heart and the stomach area. There is a diaphragm, a physical diaphragm, meaning that if you um, if you cut someone open, you would actually see that there is a diaphragm there, physically see it. And then there are three other diaphragms, which are more energetic diaphragms or functional diaphragms. You don't see that there is a, uh, like a flap of skin there, but that area of the body acts as a kind of a circuit breaker. So that's, that's the, the, so those diaphragms. So the first one is really the, it's where the occiput and the, the atlas bones are. So it's right, right between that. The occiput is the, um, the back of your skull. So, you know, the back of your skull, you have a skull there. Like if you, if you think of this as a skull, so this is, this is the back and this is the front. So the back of the skull, there is actually, if you just touch your, the back of your head, you will see that there is a sloping part where when it slopes in, it actually connects with the, the, um, your spinal column and the top of your spinal column that is the atlas bone so that is that's where the first diaphragm is so the way to open a diaphragm is by intention and also doing eye patterns so why do we do the eye patterns because your eyes is connected with your nervous system so when you do that it actually sends that signal all throughout your body so have that intention to know where you where the the first diaphragm is, which is where the back of your skull connects with your the tip of your top of your spine. That's the first one. So you can um, either just touch it a little bit, just to, because it's your body. So you're just telling and communicating with your body that this is. The part of the body that you want to um, work with and then intention is to open up that diaphragm there when you open up then you actually allow energy between the head and the rest of your body to just communicate much easier so um, the eye pattern is the whole eye position so first one is um so the way to do the eye position is to move your eyes and not your head. So what do I mean by that? So first position is upper right hand corner. So if you see me doing that, I'm looking at, so this is my right side. So I'm looking at this part, the upper right hand corner. And I'm not moving my head, I'm not tilting my head. I'm My head is still looking forward, but my eyes is looking upward. And when you do that, you may or may not feel like there is some energy being, or some, what I feel when I do that is I feel rapid eye movement which for me is really communicating. You know, my body is communicating. And one of the, the ways that it is telling me is by rapid eye movement. And the rapid eye movement is involuntary. So it just happens. I, I'm not trying to do it, it just happens. And then at some point it will start to Calm down. And that's when I know I can start to move to the next eye position, which is lower right. So I go from upper right, just move down to lower right. And just feel there. Each of your eye positions really taps into a different um, angle with your nervous system so you can access different information.
and now I feel that whatever communication is coming down, slowing down. So now moving from the lower right hand corner diagonally up to left upper hand corner. Now, you may not be experiencing that internal communication as a rapid eye movement. However you experience it is perfectly fine. You may be feeling emotions, you may be feeling energy moving around, but whatever it is that you feel, it's okay. And when you, when whatever it is, the communication, like there's an explosion when I move my eyes to a new position, and then it starts to calm down. When you feel calming down, then you can start to move to the next position, which is lower left hand corner. Not a lot here, so I'm going to move on to complete the infinity sign is to go from the left lower corner diagonal again back up to the starting position. And so that is using your eyes to draw that infinity sign. So that's one first diaphragm opened. Okay. And the second diaphragm is where the C7 and T1, like in between those two bones. So you, it's easy to find where the C7 and the T1 is. Like if you, if you touch the back of your neck, there'll be one bone that kind of sticks out just a little bit more, that's where you see seven is. So then the bone right underneath that is the T1, it's a thoracic one. So that's where the second one. So it's, it's usually around the, the base of the neck. So between the base of the neck and your um, shoulder area. So that's second and diaphragm. So just touch that area and set the intention that you want to open up that second diaphragm and then do the eye position, upper right hand corner. And as you do that, breathe as well, because when you breathe, you're actually bringing energy in. So you're kind of moving your whole body. As you breathe in, you just and and when you so that when your lungs and your body is inflated you kind of in gently massage all your internal organs so you use your breathing to assist you and then now go from Upper right hand down to up, uh, lower right hand corner. Actually felt a good release here at this eye position it seems. Okay, and then now diagonally up to the left upper corner. Ooh. 
more releasing. <laughs> I'm not the only one releasing. Me too. Mm. And then now left lower hand corner. Okay, now back to the original position, all the way up to the right upper corner. Okay, so that's the second diaphragm. The third one is the primary diaphragm, which is the physical one, which is in between the heart and the stomach area. There is that diaphragm. So just touch that area and do the eye position. Upper right hand corner. Ooh. It's like a lot of release here. Okay, it's coming down. So down to the right. Okay. To the left. Sorry. That's okay. Now down on the left. Back up to original position. And that is third diaphragm, diaphragm number three. Now, the fourth one, the last one, is the pelvic diaphragm. So that sits right underneath all your intestines. And so it's around the hip area, hip bone area, and just underneath all the the uh, intestines. There is the fourth diaphragm, the pelvic diaphragm. So touch that area and then set the intention to open it and then 
eyes up to the right. Your eyes down on the right. Diagonally up to the left. And down on the left. Now back up to original position, up. On the right. And that's the four diaphragm. And just give yourself a minute. Just a little bit of time to just feel how your body feels when you have all four diaphragms open up. Okay. Go on to the next one. So the next one is um, I want to connect the endocrine with your digestive system. It's, um, we are working with those two systems simultaneously. Okay. So the so just let your body know that you want to, first is to activate the endocrine system. So endocrine system, it's a hand signal. So it's kind of, this is a signal that the originator, the, the creator of this method um, was told was, told to use that so so it's a hand signal to communicate with your body that we are dealing with the endocrine system now so then let's do that by combining that with the eye pattern so up to the right Down on the right. Up to the left. And down on the left. Now back up to original position. The 
Okay, now let's connect to that with the digestive system. So the digestive system is um, left, is on your left. So that's the, that's it. So connect that with your digestive system and do the eye position again. Set the intention you want to connect your endocrine system with your digestive system. And then once you have that thought, then eyes to the right, upper right hand corner. Down on the right. Up to the left. And down on the left. Back up to your original position. Okay. I'll just give your body a little bit more time to process all that. Can I ask a question? Absolutely, yeah. When you said we connect um, digestive and uh, endocrine and you put your hand like this, what does it mean? So um, <clears throat> so what I'm, I'm working with now is something called the Master Energy Dynamics. And um, it's a hand signal. And each hand signal, um, like there are eight hand signals, and they, uh, and each of the eight areas is um, one area of of our body. So endocrine is here, and um, reproduction is. Here. Like if you look at a clock face, the clock face, so noon, 12 o'clock, that's endocrine. And then six mm -hmm. o'clock is reproductive. Okay. And then if you look at the um, nervous system, where's the nervous system? It's nine o'clock. So this is the my left side. So nine o'clock, that is signal for nervous system. And three o'clock is immune system. And then, um, so between noon, so between 12 and three, there is like a 45 degree angle, that's the respiratory system. And between six and three, there is the elimination, which is large intestine and the um, bladder, so elimination system. And this is really between the nine o'clock and the six o'clock at 45 degree angle, that is the digestive system. So that's why I use that and signal. And then the last one I haven't mentioned is the cardiovascular. So that is between nine o'clock and noon time. You don't need to know the the, the hand signal, and I'm, I'm not teaching you MED because I'm just learning it myself. It's just information because you asked, so. 
so when we connect, we just have to do like we have to make intentions. That's it. Yeah, just make the intention. You don't have to memorize like which 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 what hand what what noon or is it nine o'clock? You don't have to worry about that. Just set that intention. You want to what do you want to do? You want to so what do why do we want to do that first? First, it's like when we do healing, we first, let's say, if we want to heal the, the kidney, we first want to put the kidney on notice first before we do anything. It's just it's just like Sifu James say, activate. So kidney, you know, right kidney, activate, or left kidney, activate. So you're just putting that organ on uh, notice. So he, that's what we're doing here is just to put the endocrine system on notice. And we also link the endocrine system with the digestive system because um, they have a lot of, uh, as I explained last time is because um, the endocrine system is just, it runs the whole body. And when we are under stress, because um, life gives us stress let's say you know you the car is coming at you so you have to move out of the way or if you know um, some some madman is chasing after you you want your body to have you know all the energy in your body to be going to your legs area or your arms area where you can defend yourself or run away so like at, when you are under stress, you don't want to be worried about digesting food or you know, worry about reproduction. You don't have time for that. So that's what the endocrine system is will do is to divert all of the um, energy from the other systems that's not the main, um, is that does not help you with the fight or flight to just deal with um, whatever it is that is in front of you that you need to deal with. So, but after you ran away from the tiger or whatever it is that's um, that is the most in, that is uh, threatening your life, you have to um, like it. if you do that a long time, long time. If you are stressing yourself like throughout the day, there. And you don't allow yourself to calm down and just rest. Um, if you do that day in day out, your body would, you know, get into a certain groove that it does not know how to stop. And when you when you do that, and in modern day life, it's it's fairly easy to do that. So that's why um, that's how our digestion starts to deteriorate. We don't digest properly and um, in our body don't know how to get out of the stress mode in order to allow the rest of the, the other system to get the, um, get the energies that is so needed because we need to digest food properly so that we can um, replenish our body and do all of that. But when we are always stressing out, when we don't know how to manage stress, you your hormones will be out of whack and you uh, as it gets to a point where it does not know how to get back to normal. That's when we start to have to be the degenerative, um, or I should say it's a chronic illness setting in. So when we connect the endocrine system with digestive system, we are telling those two systems to talk to each other. And when they actually talk to each other, they start to realize, oh, we're not running anymore. We're not stressing anymore. Okay, let's um, dive, let's rearrange our energy so that now the, the digestion can come back. We can support the digestion. And so your endocrine system will have to reorganize itself to rearrange because the because the the endocrine system um, secretes hormones to control how your body runs, so that's that's why it's important to you know really 
when we're working with digestion to link those two systems together so they talk to each other. And now that we are done that. Um, I have one more question. Sure. Sorry. So when we open a uh, four diaphragm, fourth diaphragm, um, when we open it, the projection of my pelvic on my back started to, I started to have burning sensation and uh, area above my upper lip uh, started to numb. Then when you give us time to come back, um, on my, that burning sensation on my back disappears. But this one uh, numbing on uh, upper, uh, above the upper lip was staying for some time. Is it okay? Is it supposed to be like that? Okay. Can you um, so it's your neck? Yeah, it's it's the the second diaphragm. The second. Second diaphragm. Yeah. So just touch the C seven again. Yeah. Yeah, you don't have to keep your hand there. Just, just touch it once and then you can let go. And just breathe into that area. Okay. Thank you. It's um so when you mentioned that, um what came to me was lymphatic system. And inflammation. So those two. Yeah, because I'm already three days in a bed. My lymphatic system. Stays. I do not move. Mm -hmm. Is this message is for our whole group too, or it just for her? Oh, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> That's just. Um... Yeah, I don't think it's for the whole group. Okay. But the the stress part, that's for the whole group is um a lot of it is managing stress and just be mindful that when you are stressing, um your digestion is is not the priority, it's not your body's priority. So I'm not saying don't stress yourself because we live in the modern world. Stress is everywhere. However, don't um, like give yourself time to come back down from the ceiling. So, <laughs> so it's, that's, that's why it's, it's good to do some meditation. You don't have to meditate for an hour or anywhere like that. Just give yourself, you know, five, 10 minutes to just calm down so that your body knows that oh okay it's just work or it's just this so it's not life threatening so that you can um reset your own priority i see because it's so interesting this topic because uh, i often i talk to my elder older sister because she can detect oh 
I took this medicine, it happened like this, it happened. For me, it doesn't matter, I take supplements or I eat something or I, I cannot detect what effect on my body. Like, I really don't know. I said, how you know? What? How can you pinpoint this happened, that happened? How come I don't know? <laughs> so it's all along, all my life. That's even, even until today, I cannot detect. Unless it's something is really hurting me or something. But I cannot detect what is going on. So I'm disconnected from my body? Um, in nature, there are, there are two directions. You're either outward, you're outwardly focused or you're inwardly focused. So it's, um, it does not mean that one way is better than the other. Like there are people, like if, if they are too um, inwardly focused, they may be too sensitive. So that's not, a, that may not be a good thing as well. So it, it's a balance. And when you find like, it depends on what you want. If you actually want to develop your own sensitivity more, you actually need to pay attention to your body because your body is how you sense things. If you want to become, you know, um, let's say if you want to be a healer, you would probably, or, or doing energy healing, you may want to be, switch your focus more inward then. Because um, if you don't connect with your body, you don't, you don't um, start to train your body to feel the difference in energy. Oh my boy, I have to do a lot of work then. <laughs> <laughs> to come back. Okay, buddy, I love you. I love you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I think it's actually now is the time to really connect with your body. Mm -hmm. Now is the time because there is so, the energy is so high now. So, um, you need, when we're not connected with our body, we have we may not be aware of how our body needs to be supported because we we're going through some intense energies. And um, yeah, so that would be my suggestion. That doesn't mean that no, I am right. There are people who don't pay attention, don't connect with their body, and they are just doing fine. So it 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 all depends on what you want. It's is um, however, I do suggest is to be aware of stress because when you stress your body, you take your body out of normal function. And you can only do that, you know, up to a certain point. If you're always taking your body out of normal function, in the long term, your body will forget what normal is. And it, it, that's when um, illness starts to come in. So stress, definitely, yeah, you need to pay attention to those. Thank you. When you say open the diaphragm, what does that mean? Why? It's an intention to open that diaphragm so that it can start to allow energy to move through. Oh, okay. So I'm thinking like the diaphragm is just a disc, so why does it need to open or close? So you mean just so the energy passes through it? Yeah. Um, so you're focusing, kind of focusing on it. Yeah. Because each of those areas are, you know, really important areas. So when when you intentionally send a signal to your body to, to open that area, it really um, makes it easier for energy to flow in between. Mm -hmm. So that's what opening the, the four diaphragms does. 
it's our body needs to circulate, energy needs to circulate. Like anything that's stagnant for a long time is not good news. So we are just like energies within our body, it needs to circulate. So when we open the four or four diaphragm, energy can circulate a lot better within our body. Mm -hmm. Yes. Plus, uh, physical diaphragm, it's playing a huge role in lymphatic drainage. So it's very important. <laughs> Massage and the knees. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, the, the physical diaphragm, the pr uh, primary diaphragm, that one, it actually massage internally. Mm -hmm. Like that, if you breathe properly, but, you know, a lot of the times we don't remember to breathe properly. We seldom even breathe. like, <laughs> Or we have very shallow breath and, and our body just barely move. So when we when we have very shallow breath, um, number one, we don't get enough oxygen into our muscles. Number two, there's nothing to move our internal organs. So um, our internal organs, just like muscles, needs to be exercised. So that's what the, the, the primary diaphragm is, is, and also breathing. So the two has to go hand in hand. Any other questions before I continue on? Thank you very much for all your questions and comments. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, it's a good thing I attended the class today because I learn a lot. <laughs> I learn a lot too. <laughs> okay, so um, so now that we have both the endocrine and the digestive system connected, What's next? Let's see. So here it is. Let's see, do I have that page? I think I do have that page. Okay, let's do some formulas. Some formulas. These formulas actually connect different parts of the um of the body together. So let's bring those bodies online. Yeah, let's do fat digestion actually. The fat digestion is what showed up for me. So let's do that. So which means we are working on liver gallbladder uh, fat digestion. So um, we all think about fat digestion and connect with your own liver and the gallbladder. The gallbladder is just sits right underneath the uh, liver area. Just connect with that part of your body. First, I want to actually just call in some extra helpers. I always call in Archangel Raphael for healing. Just feel the presence of Archangel Raphael. to guide us and hold space for all the rest that we are going to do today.
And also the second thing is really to set the intention to connect. Connect with ourselves, yes. To connect with all our playmates here. Yes, we are simply alternate representation of one. And we set the intention of improving that digestion, improving our liver and gallbladder function. Maybe not everybody still have gallbladder. I know that uh, some people, or at one point, um, the medical profession decided that gallbladder is not important. So we don't take very good care of the gallbladder and actually sometimes even recommend cutting it out. But that's okay. Whether you have both organs, liver and gallbladder, or just one, that's okay. Within your body's holographic intelligence, both are still represented. So let's connect some of these together to assist our body to function better. First one is chemistry. Our body is really um, a biochemistry processor, creator and processor. So chemistry, which is really primary um, function of the endocrine system as well, is to create a lot of the different hormones, chemicals to communicate with the rest of the body. So communicate with all of the hormones and all the other chemicals that our body creates and make use of naturally. Connect that with the idea of fat digestion. and connect with our liver. And just imagine the healthiest and the happiest liver that you can possibly imagine in this moment. Bring that version of liver in. And I connect that with the gallbladder. 
the healthiest, the most efficiently functioning gallbladder, whether physically or energetically. And then connect to that with the duodenum, which is a part of our digestive tract. Connect that with the small intestine. and connect that back to the liver again. And let's do the eye patterns again. Eyes up to the right. Down on the right. Up to the left. Down on the left. And then back up to the right. Let's bring in blood chemistries. This is a sigil. That wants to come in into our throat area. The next module that wants to come in is the merge in. Merge in. You don't need to worry about what those are. They are just pre-programmed healing energies. You can think of them as that. And then warming the stove. It's the next module. Come in. The next one to come in is activate digestion. This needs to come in right into our stomach area.
next one that wants to come in is the teak harmonic and specifically the pancreas. Pancreas on the left. On the left, yes. It does a lot of things to teak. It does gallbladder as well. Pretty much a lot of the major organs, keep harmonic, can come in. We do some correction to those major organs. How's everybody doing so far? I'm just checking in. My liver hot and it hurts a little bit. Your where? Liver. Liver. It's it's feel hot mm -hmm. and it's hurts a little bit. Okay, just breathe into it. Pain in the liver, a little liver area, a little bit. What was that? Pain in the liver area, a little bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just moving. It is moving the. Um, it's working on the liver. So just relax and breathe into it. Yeah, it's gone. Thank you. It is. It is actually, um, yeah. It's working with your liver to move the energy around. So. Just relax and allow the healing energy to just work. Thank you. 
two more I want to bring in. One is liver filter and regeneration. That is for the liver area. Just allow that module to come into the liver area. You just let your body know to support your liver. This is your intention. Support the liver. Because your liver supports you, supports you. There are thousands and almost millions of functions that your liver does. Liver is extremely important. Maybe not as, as important as your heart, but it is right up there. And the next one that I want to bring in is for balancing the blood sugar because EF blood sugar balance. Okay. Checking in with the rest of you again. How's everybody doing? I feel a little like kind of a lower back pain. Okay. Me too. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so back pain. What is that? Let's scan for the pattern for lower back pain. How many patterns? Fourteen patterns. So let's tap that in. And
Any improvement? Can't hear you, Nishi. I, I have some improvement. What about you, Nishi? Can you hear me now? I can hear you, yeah. Oh, okay. So I said I feel like nice warm heat. So there is improvement in, in that. It's not gone 100%, but it it's a little better than before. Okay. Yeah. Is it related to liver or something? Because I don't have lower back pain. Um, you know what came to me? It was trauma. Oh, okay. Yeah, I had a very bad accident long back, so. I thought the back was related to kidneys because for for a moment, my kid, kidney area was itchy. Come on, just wait, Mena. She's working on Nishi. Okay. I'm not working on um, my... Oh, both, everybody? Both, yeah. I thought you were... It's, um, yeah. No. It's okay. It could be because of kidney, but it could be other things as well. So it's... um, It, it depends on... Depends on the person, depends on the occasion. You're going to love, but I gonna I feel kidney you now. <laughs> mm -hmm. You are so suggestive. <laughs> You're so <laughs> suggestible, Tatiana. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Everything. Uh, you have to really be very careful um, what you say to yourself. <laughs> Your body is it, a good thing when used properly because your body you know you just have to say something and your body will listen so <laughs> your body is so responsive it's nice from one side right Uh, so you're back now, both of you. Actually, all of you, <laughs> not just, not just. The two. You think it's okay. much better? It's nice it and warm, and and it's a better. Okay. Mine is better too, but you know, I've had back and bottom issue for so long. That's why I keep getting up, walk um, and walk around a little bit or stand. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's, it's better now. Yeah. So
So actually both of you can play with this. Play. So what, what play is to actually um, travel back in time to a time when you didn't feel any pain when your, your back is absolutely perfect. Travel back in time. You can play with this idea because you can. With what idea? That I'm okay and I'm healthy and I have healthy back. Yeah. Inside. So you hold the idea that you gather all your energy and you go back to um, a time or you go back to a frequency where your body does not have whatever it is that you want to um, recover from. Play with that idea. So we go back and then we bring the good energy with, to the present moment. Is that the idea? You are tuning into that version of yourself. Mm. It's you're communicating with your body that you want that. Mm. Okay. And allow your body to create it for you. Even though it was when I was a teenager. <laughs> Doesn't that matter? Your body does not know how old you are. Mm -hmm. Your mind tells it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Time, like your your mind has all these concepts of, you know, today is December the 14th, 2023. Your body, don't care. Don't know. True. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I don't think um, we should go on because I think we are pretty much covered. Thank you, Vinny. It was very, very helpful. Yes, thank you, Vinny. Very, very helpful. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody's feeling good? Yes, yep. So far? Yeah, I'm 25 again, so. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 you look much better. Yeah. You know, today I told to my sisters that I feel bet better because Vinny was work on me. And um, uh, I supposed to have video call with my doctor. So mm -hmm. my sister so my sister said, don't tell to the doctor that someone Ahalai Mahalai worked on you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, well, thank you for joining me this evening, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. you. Good night. Good night, everyone. Be very good to yourself. Yeah. Drink water. 
And your body yep. is still processing, just, just to remind you. And um, meditation is on Saturday. So I'll send out right. the... Yeah. Thank you, Vini, for Thank your you help. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night.